Hey guys, it's Carla. Today I'm starting with a Rossi in a background and my outline is drawn on. So the first thing I want to do is paint the sky because it's the farthest away. So I'm just using a flat synthetic brush to very loosely paint in that light blue sky. And now for the ground, I'm using that same brush um, but I'm using raw sienna and burnt sienna uh, with a little bit of white in it. And I think maybe I touched, maybe I picked up a little bit of that brown, I don't know. Um, anyway, just very loosely all around the, the outline. And now I've switched to a smaller brush and I'm going to put some color into the path. And again, very loose, I'm going to be doing several more things to the path, so this is just a base color. Okay, now I'm using a hog bristle brush. Um, to scrub in some dark color into the around the path and um, in the path and just wherever I, wherever I want it. So the hog bristle brush is good to use for this because you can scrub with it. And this is a filbert, but you could use a flat brush or or whatever. But hog bristle works works best. So now I'm mixing up a green shade and start putting in some patches of green. And I'm gonna leave a lot of that other color showing through because um, I don't want it to look like this is a green, like a lush green field or something. It's gonna have like patches of maybe dirt or whatever. What you don't want to do right here, though, is go almost up to the outline, but not quite, because then that will um, that will leave like um, an outline around the outline, and it'll kind of look funny. So go all the way up to the outline. Just put different shades of green in. And again, we'll be doing other other things to the to the ground, but it's kind of a process. Picked up a little bit of raw sienna in it. And sometimes just straight raw sienna. Just really whatever you like back there. We want the the ground to end up being kind of bright because it's sunny outside and um, the brighter the ground is, the sunnier it's gonna look. Now I've darkened that sky color and I'm just kind of scumbling in uh, again with the hog bristle brush scumbling in a bluer section right here that could be it could be distant trees it could be mountains or whatever it's just it's just color so it's whatever the viewer wants it to be And you can just play around with this and go back and forth between lights and darks until you have what you want. I'm 
um, kind of scumbling it down into the green so that there's not a lot of definition there. And then with the sky color, I'm scumbling down into it. So I just don't want any hard lines. So now with kind of a grayish shade, I'm gonna go ahead and paint in the base color for the shirt. Uh, the shirt is gonna be white, but you don't want it to be all white, so you've gotta have this kind of shadow color. And for most of this, I'm, I'm just using this small flat brush, synthetic brush. So there's the base color for the hat. And kind of grayish buckets, um, kind of like they're silver, but I'll end up putting um, some rust on them too. Now this, the first one I painted is, you can see the whole bucket. That other, the other one is kind of behind his leg. So you're not seeing the whole thing. And now just a dark shade for the shoes. Kind of a bluish brown, but mostly brown. And then for the, um, for the pants, it's gonna be mostly blue. So it's still blue and brown, but it's got more of a bluish shade to it. Now right here on that right hip, I went out too far. Like I went all the way out to the arm and I wasn't supposed to do that. So I'll show you how to fix that, how to erase that when I get finished here. Okay, so now I've got a damp brush, a clean damp brush, and I keep wiping it off, but um, if you catch this while, right after you put it on there, then with a clean damp brush, you can basically erase it, reshape it. So now with watered down brown, I'm gonna start putting some shadows in. So this is the shadow for the hat. The sun is coming from the right hand side so everything on the left is more shaded and darker and just use whatever brush you feel comfortable with right, right here for these smaller areas I'm using a just a small round brush but just whatever you're comfortable with. It really doesn't matter at all. Okay, now I've mixed up a shadow color. So it's the color of the pants with white added to it. I mean, not a, it's not a shadow color, it's a highlight color. Uh, it's just white added to it. And I'm using a small round brush to kind of form the shape of the pants with this highlight.
All right, now I'm mixing up a shade to form the shape of the shirt. So I want it to be fairly dark, not extremely dark, because this is a white shirt, but you need to have these creases and wrinkles in there to, to form the shape. Now this is just a little highlight on the shoes where the sun would be hitting them. Now this is watered down white. So where there's not a shadow on the, ha on the hat, I'm putting this watered down white on. So it's not gonna cover up all the color underneath but it will lighten it up. And the same thing here, this is just watered down white. All right, now with uh, blue and brown without white added to it, I'm just putting a little bit, like a thin, dark shade into some of these um, deeper areas. And then this is just plain white. And it's not gonna stay plain white, so, um, but I want to get that on there now, but I'm gonna end up putting a glaze over it, so, this white just needs to be underneath it so that it will look bright and sunny outside. Okay, now I mixed a little bit of brown in with some burnt sienna and this is my rust color. I'm just gonna scumble that in here and there into the into these metal buckets. All right, now I'm just darkening the, or putting a second coat on the pants. I felt like it needed it. I wanted them to be kind of bold. and a little highlight on the hands and the suspenders just on the top part. Now, with the suspenders dry, I'm using some watered down white to kind of highlight that upper back area and that will help make it look like he's kind of hunched over. All right, now I'm mixing up a shadow color for uh, like a cast shadow for him. And I'm using the hog bristle brush to scrub it in. So I wanna go all the way against his shoes there and then just scumble it on out. He 
don't want a hard line here because this is <clears throat> this is rough ground so it's not going to be like a straight hard line it's going to be kind of shaped more like the grass and right here it's kind of a where the bucket is casting a shadow I want it to be really dark right up against his shoes and then it gets a little bit lighter on out. All right, now with the yellowish green, I'm putting in some more. I want the ground to be brighter because like I said, the, the brighter it is around him, the sunnier it looks outside. So it's gonna help with this effect of this dark shadow being cast and it just um, makes it look really sunny outside. Now what I ended up doing is losing some of my footage of the video where I I used a small liner brush and put in the handles for the buckets. Um, so don't forget to, to do that. So I, with the buckets, I did like a dark handle and then a little bit of white to highlight it. So I'm still just brightening things up a little bit. And if you want, you can leave, um, you can leave this bold white in there if that's the look that you want. Uh, but what I decided to do was water down some raw sienna with a flat synthetic brush and brush it over the top. So it still looks really bright, uh, bright and sunny, but you don't have that bold white. So it's just whatever look you want. And then what I also ended up doing was um, that I lost the footage for is I took a, a flat synthetic brush and watered down some straight yellow and went over all around the outline. I went over it with straight yellow. So you might want to do that. It brightens it up a little bit, as you can tell. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless you.